Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, this video, we are not going to do a wrestling thing. It's going to be totally different. I'm wearing Rough Rider stuff. Um, breaking news coming out if you are a Rider fan. Coach Chamberlain and uh, Brendan Tamman have got the boot. Um, and the reason why, and I kind of figured this was going to happen, especially when you do a when the head coach, Cody uh, Chamberlain, does a stupid ass move like the one that he called on Sunday. So we have Brett Smith who pretty much took, you know, is doing everything in his, you know, arsenal to get us a win. So second half, we're down by three. So Brett Smith throws the pick, supposedly to, I think, I believe Dressler. One of the receivers fortunately got intercepted. So, what does Corey Chamberlain do? He pulls Brett Smith in and puts in Tino Sanceri, who pretty much got fired last year and got rehired because Darren Durant went down at, on the first game ever. And then Kevin Glenn's out now. So, they put Tino Sanceri in, and in my opinion, he is completely useless. You know, he does not have a clue how to... I don't think he knows how to be an actual quarterback. He doesn't know how to read. He stays in the pocket. He, the time that he makes his decision, it's too late. It's like a freaking deer in the headlights when it comes to Tino Sanceri. And the reason why all of us were upset is because he got eight sacks. That's almost double digits, okay? Eight sacks. And we lost. Big time. 35 to 13. I watched the highlights when I was at home. And again, he gets the ball and then it's like... What do I do now? And then he gets sacked. Um, I'm glad they got, they got rid of Chamberlain. I kind of figured um, that, you know, Corey Chamberlain's number is done. Uh, especially said well, I can... He, you know, a few weeks ago, six weeks ago, he said he didn't give a damn what anybody else said and whatever, and he can go coach whenever he wants. I'm like, well, now you're at Chamberlain, you can go and coach wherever you want. Um, so, bye-bye, Chamberlain. Thanks for ru ruining um, the Rough Riders' chance of winning. Now, another thing, hopefully that doesn't damage Brett Smith, because now... You pull a guy that's pretty much doing everything in his, in his damn power to get us a damn win. And he throws one interception and you pull. Like, freaking seriously. And you put in a guy that has not won a freaking game. Who gets sacked after sack after sack after sacked. Like, does that make sense? Hell no. So hopefully Brett Smith, Brett Smith does not go to another organization, and because in my opinion, Brett Smith has just said that the hell with you. If this is how you're gonna cheat me, you know I'm, I'm here trying to make a get a win here, and then I throw an interception, and then you pull me out and pull you put a guy in there that's never won a game. Tino Sinceri is a, the, I like to give him the nickname. The sack man. Because all you do, Sanceri, is get sacked after sack after sack. So hopefully Bob Dice is going to be the um, head coach. And then we got Jeremy O'Day that's going to hopefully be good. And hopefully Bob Dice get rid of Sanceri. Keep Brett Smith in. Brett Smith is a good quarterback. He gets things done. He makes an effort, even though he, you know, he's quick with his feet. He's quick with reading and all that. So, Brett Smith, hopefully, you, you know, we go against Labor Day weekend. So, hopefully, you don't blow it. Um, but um, yeah, keep doing what you're doing, Brett Smith. You're an awesome quarterback. You're way better, way better than Sinceri. That deer in the headlights, Mr. Sackman there. Because that's all Tino Sinceri is now, is a sack man. Um, but yeah, so that's the reason why Corey Chamberlain got the boot. And same with uh, 
Brendan Tannen. You know, you gotta get you guys, you gotta get winners in there. You know, it's like that Greg Marshall back in 2011 or 12 or something. He, we were 0 and 7, and then we had the Labor Day weekend and the Banjo Bowl, and and to be honest, were the best games ever by Rough Riders, and then that's it. He got the boot. <laughs> um, the reason why Greg Marshall got the boot, which kind of change subject here, but the reason why Greg Marshall got the boot is because he had 12, supposedly 20 years assistant coaching. When the hell was that? And then, pretty much what happens is that Marshall got put on the hot seat and he melted. That's pretty much what happened to Greg Marshall. Chamberlain has been making too many very questionable decisions and after last Sunday of pulling Brett Smith in the first half and putting Tino Sinceri in and getting eight sacks, you just shot yourself in the foot. So I'm glad that Chamberlain's out, um, especially if you're going to say you don't really care about the media. Because pr pretty much you, you technically say you don't care about the fans. So that's a slap to the face and all the, whoever's a wider fan and stuff like that. Um, so bye-bye Chamberlain and bye-bye Brendan Tamman. And as WWE will always say, all the best in your future endeavors. Thanks for watching, you guys. And we'll see you guys next time.